Back one more again. Big Domo the Spook, the Roberts Retainer. Shout out to all my double eyes around the world, cultivating the sexual energy of ours. Making sure we keeping this hip power. What you know, good fellas? How you doing, lady? Let's do the damn thing! No, play. Let's do the damn thing. Feel me? Hey, though. Hey. Your endurance, your confidence, you know what I'm talking about? Your work ethic is just going to increase on semen retention, man. I promise you this, bro. I promise you. You heard me? I, I, I promise you, man. This, this is the best route that you can go. Gains, bro. Gains, bro. Y'all see that? Gains, bro. Gains, man. Gains. And you don't even be tired. Like, you be ready to go right back to the gym. Real talk. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm loving it in my uh, in my own little language I made up. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. No, but for though, bro, if you want to have superb workouts, you know what I mean, and not get tired, and your strength increasing, and you doing things just easy. Bro, if y'all would have just seen what I was doing in the gym, and I just did this as a, a quick little workout before I go in, uh, go into work, you know what I mean? Dog, dog, it don't make no sense, man. It really don't make no sense, bro. Like, I'm going through a flat line, and I'm still going crazy, bro. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. Nah, but for real, though, like, I'm an ill dude, man. Hey, man. Semen retention is going to give you the, 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 the power to just push through, man. It's, man, it's crazy, bro. I love it, man. And, and, and every time, man, I just wake up. Like this morning, right? I said my prayers. I, pr I prayed to God. I meditated. Hopped my butt up in the cold shower. I took a cold shower. Five minutes, you feel me? Just letting it hit me. And then after that, hit it right to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Got a great workout in. That's it. Just got a great... Uh, and it, what, I went and worked out for like 40, 45 minutes. You feel me? That's all I needed, though. You know what I'm saying? I did I did flat bench. Went up to 225. Repped out on that. And then I did a drop down set all the way down to a plate. And then I did my 21s. If y'all seen the ones... The uh, the 21s that I did up on my, um, on my shorts. That's what I did at the end of it. And then after that, I went to incline bench press because somebody was already on the ab machine i went on that repped out on inclines and then after the incline bench press that's when i went to my abs hit my abs went crazy on my abs today my ab, my core is probably honestly out of everything on my body my core is probably the strongest man and i work everything out like every time i go into the gym i work out my whole body like I start off with my core, my my abs. Then I go from core to my legs. Hit my legs. After I hit my legs, then I hit. Then I do bench pressing and stuff like that. After I do bench pressing, like my chest and stuff, I hit my shoulders with military presses and stuff. And then after that, then that's when I um. What I do after that? Then I uh hit the bag, hit the bag for like a good fight, which is 36 minutes. So I hit it for about that long, working on my skills and technique. And, how, and throwing the punches correctly. And then after that, man. Shit. About done after that. You know, I'm starting to incorporate jump roping into my workouts. You know what I'm saying? So I can be smooth and light on my feet. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man. I just been, you know, sticking to the script, man. But, you know, what's the funny thing is, man. People are so intimidated bro and so like they want to know like how is he <laughs> how, how is he how is he like you know how is he going so hard like this like it don't make sense you know what i'm saying because i'll be seeing people go in and go and do their workouts and they might need like they might take a three minute rest break before they go back to the next set i'm taking a minute break because I, I learned all the way back in high school when i was started when i started lifting weights with the football team 
the coach was like, you want to take a minute break after every set. You only need a minute and then get right, right back to it. So that's what I've been doing. And, you know, I just been going in, man. I've been going in, I'm pushing it. You know, I've been in the gym every day. I ain't playing. I'm not playing, bro. I'm not playing. I'm not, I'm not playing around. I'm dead serious about protecting my energy, saving my energy and going hard. And you should too, man. To the uh, young king that's just started off with single retention, my tips is take it one day at a time. Um, Stay busy. Even on your off days, like when you got to have your body recover and rest because you sore, when you at home, make sure that you like doing push-ups. Cause me, when I'm at when I'm at blah, blah, blah. when I'm at the crib, I'm doing push-ups. I'm doing ab carvers like the ab wheel. I'm doing those, and I'm hitting my squats until I feel like that energy is like I'm like tired. Then when I'm laying down, I'm going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I deleted all social media apps, so I'm not on social media. You know, the only social media app that I have is YouTube. That's the only thing I be on. You know what I'm saying? Um. And um, be mindful of your thoughts. And um, always wake up with positive affirmations. Tell yourself that I'm going to do this. Like, I'm not trying to do similar attention. This is my lifestyle. And um, I know you're just starting off. And I know you're going to be tempted to count your days, which is nothing wrong with that. Because when I first started off, I was counting my days. I was doing it religiously. And after a while, because I've been on this journey for four years now. Now, I don't even know what day I'm on. I promise, I promise you on everything I love. I do not know the exact date I'm on. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the exact day, the number, none of that. I, if somebody was to ask me what day you on, I can't see like I'm on 44 or 33. Or like I don't know. I just know I'm on a streak and I'm just every day, every day I treat it like I'm on day one, basically. And I'm building myself up even more. But best believe I'm still on my streak. You know what I mean? And it's lovely. It's beautiful. Um, and this journey is beautiful, man. You're going you're gonna to go through a spiritual awakening. Um, most definitely. You might have people drop out of your life. You might even have family members treat you differently. In a good or bad way, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it really doesn't matter because as long as you love yourself and you take care of yourself, you're not going to really care for that. Um, what else can I tell you? Stay prayed up. If you got the Bible app on your phone... If you don't have it i suggest that you download it and um really start reading chapters um get acquainted with god for sure because you are um entering a spiritual warfare when you do this journey because it's sacred and um you're a part of the one percent and um you'll see once you awaken that your energy is very contagious and that you're raising the vibration just by being yourself and the enemy can't have that so he's going to send you temptations he's going to send you traps to keep you down i want you to know this sir young king we all have demons assigned to us you know what i'm saying we as chosen ones we all have specific demons that are assigned to us to keep us in a low vibrational state so they might send you demons of lust demons of envy demons of jealousy demons of uh, 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 discouragement You know what I'm saying Trying to discourage you from your path Projecting insecurities onto you You know just any And it, and it comes in very subtle ways You know what I'm saying It's not going to be big ways It's going to be ways where you can be able to tell Like oh this person just want me to get out of my character You know what I'm saying Don't allow that If anything you should kill them with kindness And be like you got it Or it's, it's cool Like, Because one thing about it The more you resist that and, and you send that black magic back towards them it builds up inside of them but if you allow them to infiltrate your aura then now it's going to be sitting in you you know what i'm saying and, and, and that's what they want they want you to get out your character but if you deny it and you let that power that they're trying to send to you as far as witchcraft demonic you know energy anything like that negative energy period it's going to sit back in them and it's going to grow even more. You know what I'm saying? Don't indulge in gossip. Don't indulge in assumptions. Don't indulge in having an, um, not having an impeccable word, which means going against yourself. You know what I'm saying? Always believe in yourself. Always speak 
um, um, faith in yourself, belief in yourself that, man, I'm going to do this. And trust me, you're going to see benefits and results. Take care of your body. Drink a gallon of water every day. You're going to be peeing a lot at first, but you'll get used to it. Um, read, 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 read the Bible. Read some informational books that's going to feed your mind. You know what I'm saying? And really just take into account that you are building your seed. You're building, you creating your seed. And, and and the healthier that you build your seed, the better your results gonna be. You know what I'm saying? And, and the more you take care of yourself, the more your seed is gonna take care of you. And that's gonna happen around two months. You know what I'm saying? Around two months, that's when your seed is gonna start taking care of you because you've been nurturing, you've been taking care of it, having discipline, having patience. And trust me, you will be rewarded. And you're gonna have so much fun. So much fun. I guarantee you, bro. If you if you don't if you if your results don't kick in after you doing all of this hard work I'm talking about you gotta put in work you can't just faith without works is dead you know what I'm saying so you can't you can't be like just sitting on your ass and thinking that like the benefits gonna come to you no you gotta put in that work but best believe me you will be rewarded none of your work is gonna go in vain you will be rewarded I can attest to that and everybody else can attest to that.